How you doing guys? Welcome back to the Cameron channel. So you guys have seen this before. This is our XH26. This machine comes in at about 5,500 pounds. That's what it weighs. You can dig about eight foot deep. And you have two engine options. You actually have the Yanmar or the Kubota. So here recently we've been doing the Kubota engine. Guys seem to be a fan of that one. And uh, today we're gonna take it out and put it to the test and see how good it digs with that Kubota engine. Kind of see how she sounds and everything. So uh, some of the standard features you're gonna get on this machine, obviously is your hydraulic thumb, just like with any of our machines. You're gonna get that two year warranty and parts and support with us. Um, this particular model right here, you're gonna notice this uh, additional apparatus that is gonna be your quick hitch. So your quick hitch allows you to hit a button simply up here in the operator station, drop that bucket and hook into a different size bucket if you were to purchase one separately. This one right here does not have that feature, so you can save a little bit of money on it. This will be the one we take out today to do a little bit of digging with. As we move back here, you'll notice that you've got the uh, extra wide chassis on this one, and that's because we have the tracks retracted outward. This model actually has the retractable tracks that you can move in and out. That way you can squeeze through narrower spaces with this big machine. You'll also notice down here, you've got the uh, blades that break loose. They have a pin here, you just pull it out, fold them back, makes it nice and handy when those tracks are in, then your blade matches your track width. This is also known as a zero radius machine. So what that means is your tracks far exceed the back of the machine here. So that's gonna give you uh, some protection there. If you were to back into a tree or a wall or something, the back of your track is simply gonna hit the uh, object before your counterweight here. And while we're back here, let's have a look. I mean, this is a really large counterweight. We go to the extra trouble, you know, to upgrade and give you a nice thick counterweight that goes in there pretty deep. Keeps you uh, nice and balanced on this machine. I've said it before, I'll say it again, this is probably one of my favorite machines. Nice access to everything right here in the back. You've got your air filter, fuel water separator, coolant, all that right here nice and handy and you can check your oil. So, moving up here to the operator station, you have single foot control. Uh, what that means is you can actually actuate the side swing feature, which comes standard on this model as well. That way you can actuate that side swing, break your boom over and dig up against a wall. And we'll kind of look at that when we get out here as well. So uh, no further ado, let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. All right guys, we'll uh, do a little bit of digging out here and uh, see what the uh, XH26 with the Kubota here can do. Starts right up just fine. Nothing you'll notice about our machines is they're really quiet. So we'll go ahead and turn it up here and uh, start by demonstrating that uh, side swing. I'm going to go ahead and put the thumb back. So that's going to be your side swing on this one. As you can see, it goes way over. So the positive to that is uh, just like being by this pond right here. We can dig right by the edge of this pond or say there was a wall here and uh, you know clean out without having our tracks over there in that environment. Go ahead and straighten this boom back out. Go ahead and make a cut here. Really powerful machine, really powerful. I like it. I've always liked this machine, but uh, I've, uh, I've really only ran it with the Yanmar for the most part. With the Kubota, tons of power, look at that. Ripping right through the roots. Let's 
So this may not be a good place to dig. I think some contractors buried a bunch of trash right here. Yeah, there's a bunch of sheetrock right there. Let's do this. Go ahead and cover that back up. Guys, remember, usually your turret doesn't have a lot of power to be doing this, and you're really not supposed to. But just for the sake of demonstration, we're going to go ahead and do it this way. You're really supposed to use your dozer blade to push dirt back in a hole. back up, find a little bit of a different spot. I'm trying to find a place uh, that really has never been excavated so we can get, you know, the, the full potential out of it here. Such a powerful machine, very impressive, really powerful machine. I like it. Look at that, this cuts right through, no problem. We hooked a root right there. There's that root. Such a powerful little beast. Getting nice full scoops here. One thing about this one is you can really move some dirt quick. And as you can see, there's a lot of roots down there. Look at all those roots. That is a lot of roots. Some of them look like they're about one inch diameter and we just cut right through them like butter. Really impressive machine, I love it. Look at that. Really impressive. And guys, that's the thing. We upgrade the pumps. We go a little bit bigger pump on our machines. That way you've got that extra power And then you don't have any problem digging that way. I mean, it, it just cuts through and does its job. Scoot back a little bit. So if we were excavating a trench right now for a water line, we'd be moving pretty quick. Really nice, big, impressive scoops there. And like I say, this machine is pretty quiet as well. Super comfortable captain's chair here to work in. I gotta say, this is, this is still one of my favorite machines, no doubt. A little monster when it comes to digging. I can confidently say this one will get the job done no problem at all. All right guys so just like we do in all of our videos I'm gonna turn it down to idle so we're at idle right now and I'll just show you here. There's full throttle. 
all the way down to idle. So if you're needing to do some detail work, you know, maybe you're excavating a, a broken water line and you don't want to tear up everything, this machine's got the power to do it. Reach down there nice and slow. Just hit a rock or something right there. Oh yeah. There it is. Nice full bucket loads at idle, no problem. And again, guys, that's thanks to having that uh, upgraded pump in here. And you know, another thing is we upgrade the hydraulic valve under the floor here. That way you've got nice smooth joystick controls when you're operating the machine and it's not shaking you around. As you can see here in the video, I'm not violently shaking around and uh, it's nice and comfortable, so. Anyway, you guys get the point. Um, thing about these zero radius machines is they are a little bit tight to get in and out of there, but you still have that confidence of having a compact machine to get into tight places. So guys, where you wanna be is kimroncells.com. That's our website. We're gonna have pricing and more information on this machine and the many others that we offer. We also have dealers around the country and that's gonna be kimron.com. So check them out, give them a call. Um, right now we have pretty good inventory on this machine with it being the month of uh, October when this video is being filmed, 2024. And that's all I've got for the day. Thanks for watching.